As we've been alluding to, a dip in temperature signals that fall is approaching. In fact, the first day of autumn is now officially one week away. What also comes with cooler weather is the flu season. News Channel 18's Liz Nichols explains what you can expect this year and why it's not too early to get vaccinated. Um, do you plan to get a flu shot? Yes, I do. Carol Soika runs a produce stand in Lafayette for her family's farm in Battleground. Getting sick while working outside all day long is something she wants to avoid at all costs. For her, getting a flu shot is a no-brainer. I'm more concerned about getting the flu if I don't get the flu shot. After catching the flu the year she skipped the vaccine, Carol says she became a believer. It's absolutely the time to start getting vaccinated. Dr. James Bean with IU Health Arnett says although it may seem early, and so far no cases have been reported in our area, now is the time to get your shot. Every year we know there's a flu epidemic that comes through. It's unpredictable how severe or how mild it'll be. Uh, annually, thousands and thousands of people get admitted to hospitals and tens of thousands die each year nationally from flus. The Centers for Disease Control, the authority on monitoring the influenza virus nationwide, recommends everyone six months and older get vaccinated against the current strain. But not everyone is a believer in the vaccine like Carol. Some patients complain it's not effective, saying they get the flu anyway. A lot of people think that my husband's one of those that thinks that. Dr. D. Matthew Schwartz with Franciscan St. Elizabeth Health says he's heard that before. The flu shot can certainly give you symptoms of influenza. Your body is responding to the, uh, to the vaccination, but you're not actually getting the infection. He explains even though you may feel like you have flu-like symptoms, you will eliminate the risk of a severe case of the flu when you get vaccinated. They do avoid the really serious cases of the infection itself. Once flu cases start occurring, Dr. Bean and Dr. Schwartz also want to remind you of good hygiene practices, like washing your hands, covering your cough and your elbow, and of course, staying home when you're sick to prevent the virus from spreading. Liz Nichols, News Channel 18. Several flu clinics in our area have been scheduled as the season gets underway. We've posted times and locations on our website, WLFI.com. Just click on this story.